I thought it might be fun to look at Atari stuff. I have this Atari drawer, and this is uh, pretty much the extent of everything I have here. So let's take a look. There we go. I think that might be as stable as I can get it. All right. Uh, big Watto cables, and you can see every Atari uh, case seems to have a Sega Genesis controller in it somewhere. Of course, gotta love that nine-pin uh, connection. And there's a lot of games here, like a lot. If I, I have an Atari collection video on my channel from like 10 years ago or, or something. And when I think of my Atari collection, that's usually what I'm thinking about. I forget that it ballooned out quite this much. Skateboarding, cool game. I remember playing, playing that on an emulator. I don't know if my actual cartridge got played much. This is cool. I talked about this one on the podcast a little bit. This was sent to me by Hughes Johnson from the Retro League, uh, which is why I put the Retro League's website on it. Um, he had like a mystery game. I was like, I don't know what this is, but it's like, me, 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 I want it. I'm not going to do all these game by game, but uh, Planet Patrol is a pretty sweet game. This is one I got towards the end of, of the last run I had with Atari, so I only played that a handful of times. Centipede, Demon Attack, Journey Escape, Comic Arc. This one I think had a label and it came off, so there's probably a loose label in there somewhere. I think this is Frogger. Um, and if you look down there at the bottom, there's a whole layer at the bottom of this thing. Phoenix has a has a um, a high score battle going between Hemrock and I on the Discord, so that one might be worth uh, getting out again, because as much as like the uh, handhelds, you know, emulation handhelds, they feel so much better in my hand for some reason. The, the I always got my best Atari scores when I was using the crazy uncomfortable Atari joystick on the actual hardware. So there's Phoenix which was one of the original games I got. I, I, I think I got this for like four or five games. That was one of them. Armor Ambush. I like the M Network games, even though they're really fragile. Oink. That was from Magfest. Epic Summer Games. What else we got here? So Pac-Man always has a bit of a weird uh, um, uh, reputation when it comes to Atari. Uh, the original Pac-Man is like a universally hated game. And sometimes people cite that when when they start talking about how the industry crashed. But there were two other Pac-Man games that came out on the Atari that fixed a lot of the problems. And one of them was Junior Pac-Man, which, in my opinion, is the best of the bunch. Uh, you, I can tell it's geared more towards kids because you can use the options, you know, if you have a manual to know what the options are. You can play the different game modes to reduce the number of ghosts. Actually a pretty slick game. No way. Do I have a second? Um, I thought I saw a second copy of Skateboarding in here somewhere. Enduro, another all-time favorite. A game that was programmed by a physics uh, professor. Sweet. Mm, Missile Command. California Games, another one people knock um, because it came out on everything, but particularly the NES California Games was like a favorite of mine when I was a kid, so I enjoyed playing this one. And this particular cart's in really good condition. Uh, likewise, everybody seems to love Yar's Revenge. It's a bit of a weird game. Man, a lot here. Some of these I don't even remember. I don't remember Commando Raid. I do remember that this was uh, associated with General Mills somehow. Like, created games created so that you could mail away for them uh, with cereal boxes. Crystal Caves. Astro Blast. I remember this more on the Intellivision than I do on the Atari. Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> This one, I can tell, is from Crow, um, because he put that on there. I bought some Atari games from from Crow, from YouTube, who does all the pinball videos. And put little stickies, because that guy... Yeah, here it is. A second copy of Skateboarding. Yeah, Crow, to his credit, did some, did some really good testing and actually made sure everything worked. There we go. So, 
yeah. If you have an Atari and you don't mind paying for shipping, hit me up. Uh, Venture. Yeah, this is another really cool game. There's a hack of Venture that turns it into um, a Wolfenstein game that I think is really, really good. If you ever see Wolfenstein VCS floating around on the internet, it's a hack of Venture, a really good one. Circus Atari, I love my paddle games. I wish my paddle worked. Lock and Chase, I do like Lock and Chase. It's another one that I remember more from the Atari, but decent, uh, decent, uh, or excuse me, I remember it more from the Intellivision, but decent Atari game. Yeah, here we go. So this is the one we talked about on the podcast recently. Spider Droid is an old favorite of mine. Um, and it turns out it was a clone of this game, uh, Amadar, which I didn't get this until uh, I was almost done with Atari games. So this one I remember very well. This one I think I might have played once, maybe. <laughs> the sports games are funny because they, at one point, I think it was Maximum RD, you know, Rob, a.k.a. Maximum RD, sent me some sports games, and I played them, and I, I, I was so turned off by them, it actually put me off the Atari for a long time. I still have them all, um, and I think, there was, I think there was one more. I think there was a, a football game that was in a regular cartridge. What else is in here? Whatever. Now this is interesting. See, that's how I can knock the camera over. Are we good again? There's my copy of Frogger, so that this other game that's unlabeled, which is now under the stack, I have no idea what that is. Um, games I always wanted that are not in here anywhere. Oh, here's another great game. Secret Quest. Yeah. I always wanted Spy Hunter for the Atari, which, when I used to be into it, it retailed for about $30. I think it's gone up to like 50 Spy Hunter was one, and Double Dragon was another. Um, they're both, like, uncommon. Uncommon to rare games. Not super rare. We're not talking big money, but you'd have to do some looking around to find them. I think this is the PAL version of Joust, which was given to me by Retro Kaiser. And it'll never work on my NTSC machines, but it was from Retro Kaiser, so I can never, uh, I, can, I can never part with it. Infiltrate. I don't know if I ever played this. It's a joystick game. Yeah, clearly I have to get out my Atari and play some of these again. I don't even have my book handy. I have a spiral bound notebook with high scores from Atari games that, that dates back to 2008. And the more time that goes by, the more valuable a book like that gets, at least personally valuable, not valuable in dollars and cents, but to me it's, it's valuable. Video chess. I didn't, I would love to see what kind of chess AI is on the Atari for use with joystick controllers. Yeah. I've never played this. I think this was a Magfest purchase that just went in the box. Yeah, this is another one from Crow. Encounter at L5. This was a paddle game that, since my pa I never had, I didn't have a paddle controller, and then Sendu sent me one, but that one had the jitters. So, never having a functioning uh, paddle controller, this is still unplayed. What else is uh, worth looking at? I think this is a cool looking game. Sorcerer. It has It has old, like, a, a painting, <laughs> you know? It looks really slick, but this is an example of um, the programming skill base being very low in the Atari age, you know? And, and so it's it's a janky game. It's not finished. But I don't think it's unfinished because they ran out of time. I think it's unfinished just because they couldn't. They didn't know how to finish it. So that's Sorcerer. Um, I sold off the only things I had that like were, were worth money. I had um, Pitfall 2 I had that was actually autographed by David Crane. I sold that off. Put that in the hands of a collector that's going to take care of it. MASH. <laughs> that, that's definitely a MAGFest purchase. Uh, and I think that's it. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a couple things here worth noting, but... My two copies of Star Raiders. 
And I think I have a third copy because I have this in box, um, you know, with the with the special controller and everything. If you have the weird controller that makes Star Raiders work, it's a good, good game. Because you play with the joystick like you always do. But then you have this extra little panel that you can use for, like, uh, intelligence reports and that sort of stuff. You know, a, squ a quadrant map. I'm not going to forget Berserk. Easily, easily the most played game in this box. Oh yeah, and here's the third Pac-Man game, Miss Pac-Man. Better than Pac-Man, not quite as good as Pac-Man Jr., but it fixed all the problems of the original Pac-Man. This is more what the original Pac-Man feels like it wanted to be. Uh, anything else? And Rob, Maximum RD, there's your copy of Pitfall that you sent me all those years ago. Love, 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 love this game. Thank you so much for sending it to me. I really appreciate it, even after all these years. Okay, I'm going to go play Atari. See ya.